Thank you for tuning in to hear about the results of Kerrigan Advisors' second annual OEM survey. I look forward to giving you a brief presentation today about what we found. And of course, you can get the whole survey on our website. If you have any questions about the results, please do not hesitate to reach out to me via email or phone. I'm happy to always answer any of the questions you may have about our analysis. Now, first, our methodology. We had over 110 OEM executives from nearly every OEM answer our survey. And the survey was distributed via our email system along with our Blue Sky report. The survey is designed to gauge OEM executives' perspectives on the franchise system, dealer profitability, and their views on the EV sales projections that they made and what they expect will happen. This one-of-a-kind survey really provides us a critical window into the perspectives of OEM executives whose views are often not shared publicly, certainly privately, but not publicly in our industry. We feel this survey provides a candid, unfiltered perspective of what OEM executives really think about what is going on. This year's survey results demonstrate that OEM executives have an improving outlook regarding the auto retail industry as a whole, certainly relative to 23, and that they appear to believe that earnings, dealership earnings are beginning to normalize and at a higher level than pre-pandemic. The results also make very clear that the industry's transition to EVs is not what they had originally projected and that contingency plans are well underway. The first question we asked executives this year was what they expect for dealership profitability in the next 12 months. Now, as you can see from the results on this slide, fewer projected a decrease and more believe profits will remain at 2023 levels. We see this as an indication that more believe we're entering a period of normalization. And our expectation is that our next survey will show the majority believe that earnings will remain the same. So we're starting to hit a normal Lies to period of results in terms of dealership profits. The next two questions we asked were specific to new vehicle sales. We asked where executives thought new vehicle gross margins would normalize, and here we see positive results. Specifically, 62% of executives predict margins will be normalizing above 2019 levels, and just just 38% think we'll go back to 2019 levels. We see this as a positive. We also asked where they saw new vehicle sales were headed in the next 12 months. And here we see this as also a positive, especially when you think about where interest rates are, 44% see an increase in used vehicle sales and just 48% predict that they'll stay the same. So that's again, somewhat of a normalization. They see the sales sort of flattening out, but a good, a good amount of these OEM executives expect sales increases and a very small percentage think that we will see a decline in new vehicle sales in the next 12 months. Related to new vehicle sales, we asked OEM executives where they saw inventories leveling out over the next 12 months. And here we saw a dramatic shift from where we were last year. You can see 70% expect inventories to level at 60 to 90 day supply relative to 38% last year. And we are in that range currently. So that makes sense that we, we are seeing more inventory. And of course, that's probably why 44% think that we'll see sales increase as well, because there's certainly more inventory available. Now, of course, these inventory levels are particularly high as it relates to EVs. And so, of course, we ask questions about what do you think is going to happen with EV sales? And not surprisingly, the results were pretty negative as it relates to what OEM executives feel they are going to see with EV sales. First, we asked, do you believe that your OEM will achieve your proposed EV sales goals? And a whopping 64% said no. Related to that, we asked, is your organization preparing contingency plans, uh, contingency ice production plans, if you are unable to achieve the EV sales goals you set out for yourself. And here, 86% of executives said they are developing contingency plans. We thought that was 
pretty newsworthy. And then lastly, we said, how, how do you think this EV transition is going to go? Do you think it'll be faster than it planned, as planned, or slower than planned? And I guess not surprising, given the results of the other two questions, 81% said they thought it would go slower than planned. Now, we also asked them why they believe EV sales are struggling so much. And interestingly, I thought that most of the executives would say lack of charging infrastructure, but 39%, the most of them, blamed it on high vehicle prices. Now, we are seeing prices decline a bit on the EV side, closer to parity with ICE vehicles. And so maybe next year this won't be as big of an issue. But this year, I thought it was quite interesting that they see pricing as the biggest impediment to EV sales right now. We also asked OEMs, what they thought about the retail model of the future. We all remember last year, agency was a big discussion point. Well, now not quite so much. You can see that of the OEM executives that we interviewed, that we surveyed, 57% do not think we will see an agency model in the US. That is up from 34% last year. It turns out they're starting to realize how valuable it is to have dealers who hold all the inventory and do all the hard work of selling vehicles, especially as they're finding it more challenging to sell these EV vehicles. Now, another shift that we saw this year was related to OEM's views on facilities. Now, last year we saw that a pretty big percentage, 32% thought that there would be an increase in facility requirements for dealers, which we found a little startling given that OEMs were reporting that EVs wouldn't require as much service and they were going to have fewer inventories. So why do we need more facility, more expense on our real estate? Well, this year they've changed their tune a bit. 22% of these executives think that there will be a decrease in facility requirements and only 18% now see an increase. The vast majority see that there'll be a steady state as a relates to facility requirements. Again, we think this is related to a change in their perspective on EVs. You saw Ford very much change their tune as, a re as it related to the requirements of dealers for selling EVs. And lastly, we asked again, these, these OEM executives, we asked them again as it relates to what we asked last year, who's gonna own the primary customer relationship and data? And here, we were not thrilled with these results. In fact, more OEMs said they think they're gonna own that relationship and the data. 16% increase to last year. So 19% of OEMs say no in five years, that's gonna be our customer. 14% say they think the dealer will still continue to be the primary owner of customer relationship and data. And then 67% say it will be a hybrid. And that's probably likely going to be the case. But we did think it was pretty alarming to see that more OEMs thought that they would be the owners of that data and, ha and own the relationship with the consumer. Well, that's it. Thank you all for listening to my brief overview of the report. You can download it from our website. Please feel free to do so. You can see on this screen my contact information, email, and phone number, and I'm always happy to answer any questions that anyone has about the reports that we put together and all the analysis that we do at Kerrigan Advisors. In the meantime, we wish you a strong finish to the summer selling season. Thank you so much.